From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. After the rain and thunderstorms last night, we've switched back to sunshine for most of the area this Friday afternoon. Although there have been a few surprise showers south of the Tennessee River earlier this afternoon over North Alabama, those have shifted on south of the area and we're back to partly cloudy to mostly clear skies this evening and into the overnight. We got up to 63 degrees at the Lawrenceburg Airport today with the sunshine, a third of an inch of rain since midnight. In many places, we're near over an inch of rainfall across the area with the evening part of the storms. Once you add everything together from last night, starting in the mid-40s this morning, we're going to be a little colder than that tonight as we head into the later overnight in the first part of your Saturday. Here's the future cast showing our breezy northwest winds continuing, but not quite as strong as what they were during the day today. A few clouds moving through during the overnight, but otherwise temperatures dropping down into the 30s and future cast Probably not as cold as it needs to be compared to reality. I think it's low to mid 30s over southern middle Tennessee, mid to upper 30s over northwest Alabama, although one or two spots could be closer to near 40 degrees. And then tomorrow, we've had to bump high temperatures down a little bit because the upper level trough of low pressure coming across a trend a little stronger. We're talking about daytime highs in the upper 40s and lower 50s into the afternoon hours of our Saturday. And then into tomorrow night with a clear sky overhead, we get down into the lower 30s, if not the upper 20s across the region as we wake up daybreak on Sunday. But high pressure shifting off to the east means a southerly wind here Sunday. That means a warming wind will be up into the low to mid 60s. And then our 70s are coming Monday into Tuesday. Shower chances isolated in nature, but they will be there. And then that cold front off to the northwest gets in here late Tuesday night into the morning hours to Wednesday with a weakening band of showers and thunderstorms. That was the system that we've been watching for the possibility of a strong thunderstorm threat toward Wednesday. And if you've been watching us, you know that we really haven't been too confident on the severe storm risk in our area for next Wednesday. We've showed the SPC outlook and we've talked about how we'll watch it, but you also know if you watch this that we haven't been too confident on a significant threat. Now that we're getting a little closer, all the models are kind of like backing off on the severe storm threat for next week. We'll continue to watch it in case that changes, but the trends for the past 48 hours of model data have been more away from a significant severe weather threat for next week, although there will likely be some showers and thunderstorms at times. So seasonably chilly, about five to 10 degrees cooler than average, for our Saturday into the upper 40s, lower 50s, but we're into the 60s on Sunday, 70s here Monday and Tuesday, maybe mid to upper 70s on Tuesday across the region. Wednesday, we still have it in the upper 60s, but if that front and the thunderstorms trend a little earlier in the day, we may have to bump that down to the low to mid 60s, and then hanging out between the 50s and the 60s with clouds and shower chances toward the second half of next week as the front kind of stalls across the area, falling quickly out of the 50s from the evening into the 40s overnight, and in the 30s toward daybreak, most of us generally in the low to mid 30s across the area, and then up into the upper 40s, lower 50s tomorrow, low to mid 60s Sunday, 70s with a few showers possible Monday into Tuesday, and then showers and thunderstorms moving in late, late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Again, we'll still watch it, but the severe weather risk that was already really questionable for Wednesday is further decreasing as we get closer and then showers and a few rumbles of thunder possible into next Thursday and Friday. There's a look at your latest seven day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock for a final check of your local weather.